Oh my god. Let's give it a taste test. Oh my god. What's up YouTube and welcome to another video. Today we're having a full day of eating. We are currently lean bulking, eating 3800 calories, split between six different meals throughout the day. I'm just slowly trying to build muscle while minimizing the fat gain. But it's first thing in the morning, it's time for breakfast, the first meal of the day. This is a huge meal and I think you guys are gonna love this one. Let's get dressed and eat this meal because I'm freaking starving right now. Just look at this lovely breakfast. This is my favorite meal of the day. This is our pre-workout meal and this is 890 calories and it's 147 grams of carbs. The reason why this meal is so huge and has so many carbs in it is because this is my pre-workout meal and I want to have as much carbs and as much, much energy as possible uh, before my workout. And holy damn, I got 10 of these. And I got some ham and cheese and some paprika and greens on top. I don't eat dairy and as you can see it has cheese on it but I use this vegan cheese here which I can buy at the local grocery store over here. First bite. Now we are heading to the gym and I just made my post-workout shake. This is just some uh, non-sweetened almond milk. I use this because it's just 13 calories per 100 milliliters, which is very little. Uh, and I also use this vegan protein from Applied Nutrition. As I mentioned earlier, I don't eat dairy, so that's why I have to use this vegan protein powder. Uh, and this one actually tastes pretty good for being a vegan protein part, of course. Now I'm heading straight to the gym, I'm bringing this with me and I'm just drinking this straight after the workout. You don't have to drink a protein shake after you work out, but I eat 3,800 calories every single day. I'm usually very hungry after the gym, so just drinking a protein shake straight after the gym so I don't have to rush home and make food, it just makes things easy and convenient. I also want to show you guys what vitamins and supplements I use. So, the first thing we have, uh, multivitamins, perfect on the go. And I also have some omega-3s, magnesium, vitamin D and vitamin C. I just take all of these in the morning straight after breakfast. I'm gonna take these now, down the hatch. Boom. And these ones, they I can chew this and they actually taste pretty good. Mm. Last year, the vitamin D. Oh, I'm back from the gym, just finished up our back and biceps workout, a normal pull day. Drank my protein shake and now it's time for our post-workout meal. This is the meal I will be eating before I go to work in two hours. So let's go. Here we have all the ingredients. The meat of choice is lean ground beef, only 5% fat. We have some broccoli, some cherry tomatoes, sweet potatoes and we have two packets of normal white rice. This Uncle Ben's Express Rice is one you just put in the microwave for two minutes. It's very easy and convenient, but it's very expensive, so I do not recommend it. I do normally use normal jasmine rice, but it's, I didn't have enough. So I just ran to the store and bought the quick packets. Simple. 
I will be making two portions so that I can bring so that I can eat one now and I can bring one to work later. Uh, and just to make this full day of eating a little bit more fun, instead of showing you this meal I'm eating right now two times, I filmed another meal uh, from yesterday, which I also made two portions of, which I did the same thing today that I brought to work. So I will be showing you guys that today too, so you don't see the same meals twice in the video, which is a little bit boring. But just wanted to let you guys know that. Boys, we have our port. <laughs> Guys, we have our post-workout meal. It does not look as good when you see it like this. The food presentation isn't at its best, but I really don't care. I just like to mix it in this bowl. It makes it way easier to eat. Uh, and I eat many of my meals with this bowl, which you probably, which you probably have seen from my other full days of eating. But as I mentioned, made two portions of this, bringing one to work so I can eat at lunch there. And I have some ketchup and barbecue sauce on top. I also have a cup of coffee, which I will be enjoying after the meal. And I also have one and a half liter of water, which I will be drinking before work. So, gonna enjoy this meal. Then the next meal we'll have will be a little snack at work. So. I will see you guys later. Guys, we have the next meal. This is again a very simple meal. This is just 160 grams of uncooked rice, 150 grams of lean ground beef, and 250 grams of carrots, which I have boiled. Uh, I also have some ketchup and some barbecue sauce. This is the barbecue sauce I use. The reason why I use it is because the tip is very small, so it's easy to control the portions. I also use this low calorie ketchup, which we have in Norway. It's only 42 calories per 100 grams. So this shit is genius. This week at my work, I have the late night shift. And when I work the late night shift, I just normally make a meal and I make two portions. So normally I would make two portions of this, eat the one, one now and bring the other one to work. But today, since we're filming a full day of eating, I wanted to show some different meals. So the previous meal you saw was from uh, the day before. So this is, that's why this meal is different, but it's the exact same calories. But that's what I just switch out the vegetables, add some sweet potatoes, switch out the carb sources, do whatever I feel like. But here are the calories, pretty carb heavy meal. As you can see throughout this full day of eating, I absolutely love carbs. They make me perform at my best during my workout. So. Let's enjoy this meal and I will see you guys at the next meal. So I just came home from work and I forgot to film my snack I ate at work before lunch. But I have an extra one here so I can show you guys. It's this protein bar here. Uh, the macros on screen. I ate this at work between my post-workout meal and between lunch at work. So now, came home and I'm gonna make the last meal of the day and I'm starving. Been, at, been to work at eight hours from 14.30 to 22.30, the late night shift, and now let's eat. We are preparing our oatmeal here. It's just finished up in the microwave. I mixed in the protein powder. This time I used this one from Biotech. It tastes very good, but the macros, it's a little bit higher on the calories because it has some fat in it, but I'm eating a lot of calories, so it's perfect for me that the protein powder has more fat. And if I want the protein powder with less fat, I have the other one over there. I also have the egg protein over there, uh, but yeah. We have some fresh blueberries, no, <laughs> some fresh strawberries, some fresh blueberries, a banana, cutting up the strawberries here. And I also, normally, I use the Skippy peanut butter. It's very good, but I found this new squeeze peanut butter. This is an organic one, but this one you can just squeeze on top. So I'm very excited to try this one out. When you are making your oatmeal, cinnamon is a key this is so important like i try to make make this look tasty and appetizing but it's in a freaking green bulking bowl so it doesn't look as good but we need some cinnamon 
and it just makes it so much better. See, this is very difficult to do it. Oh, with one hand, because we're not gonna have too much like this. That's enough. And now we're gonna add the peanut butter. So last meal of the day, 120 grams of oatmeal, 60 grams of banana, 100 grams of strawberries, 25 grams of blueberry, and the most important ingredient, 36 grams of peanut butter. As you can see, I have a lot of fresh berries. I normally use frozen berries, but since they had a sale on the grocery store, so I thought might as well enjoy myself and treat myself with some fresh berries. This entire meal is 868 calories, 45 grams of protein, 27 grams of fat and 103 grams of carbs. Very delicious meal and normally I eat this as my breakfast but lately since I've been having the late night shift I wanted to eat my baguettes which you saw as a uh, breakfast today. I want to eat that before workout because it has so many carbs so I've just eaten this as the last meal of the day. This is actually so enjoyable. This is like one of my favorite meals and just just look at it. Oh my god. Let's give it a taste test. Oh my god. The peanut butter makes it taste so freaking good. Let's go through the calorie breakdown for the entire day. So you can see up on the screen here we have 202 grams of protein. 551 grams of carbs and 82 grams of fat. This is a very normal full day of eating. I don't eat the exact same thing every single day because I use my fitness pal and I do if it fits your macro so I can eat whatever I want as long as I get in enough protein. But normally I like to eat a lot of carbs so I can perform better at my workouts and have more energy and I normally eat roughly the same thing every day. I really enjoy oatmeal, I enjoy my baguettes and I enjoy rice, sweet potato and lean ground beef and chicken and which it means I always end up eating mostly the same. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick disclaimer. You just seen this entire full day of eating, a very normal day for me. I just wanted to let you guys know that this diet that you just saw, this is what works for me, this is what I enjoy. You can eat other food than what I do and still have progress. This is just what works for me. A lot of people always ask me like, oh, don't you get sick and tired of eating rice and sweet potatoes and oatmeal? And no, I don't get sick and tired of it. If I did not enjoy this, I would eat some different foods. I eat 3,800 calories. I can fit a lot of different food into my diet if I want to, but like rice and sweet potatoes and oatmeal and all the shit I make, it's easy, convenient, convenient. And I actually think it tastes great, even though I don't make any sauces, I just use ketchup, but I enjoy it. It works for me. If I don't enjoy it anymore, I will switch out the food and eat something different. Just wanted to clear that up, guys. You can eat other food as long as it fits your calories and macros. If you want to lose weight, a calorie deficit works. If you want to gain weight, a calorie surplus. It ain't that difficult. Just eat enough protein and then choose the amount of food you want to eat to achieve your goals. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video, which I will film tomorrow. I'm gonna measure my body fat percentage. So see you guys in the next video and hope you guys enjoyed it.